Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am so excited for this Subnautica Below Zero. I've played through Subnautica twice. Uh, I bought it very much at the outset of um, early access, probably around 2015. So I'm really excited to get my teeth stuck into this. I haven't uh, started uh, playing this until today. And um, I really can't wait to, to get stuck in. I love the survival mode, so I'm going to have that. Uh, and I'm just going to make this into a little series because, it, you know, it's such a good game. For those of you who have been living in a, a hole and don't know anything about Subnautica, or have, um, it's a survival game. The original game was based on a planet where you survive and it's pretty much just a, a subnautical planet. It's it's just sea. And uh, it's exploration and survival. So you need to cater for, starting out in a game, you need to cater for your... Um, basic human needs, food, water, um, oxygen, obviously, if you're playing the game underwater a lot. So I'm really excited for this. Apparently the game does have quite a few bugs, and um, we'll probably encounter some along the way. But that's always the case with early access, but it's too good not to get involved. We are different, but we go together. Right, that was from that was from the previous game. So that was the end of the previous game. If you haven't played that, I won't spoil it for you. But um, so excited for this! I love this game. One of my best games of probably the last decade. Oh gosh, here we go. I'm in a base. Uh oh. Female. Can we get a, ooh, hello. Okay, so first things first, mouse speed. That's gotta drop. It's a little bit better. Uh, what have we got here? So you have to read a lot of the um, data that you get in here. Why have you applied for this role? Everyone's talking about 4546B who hasn't applied. Is that the planet from the original game? I think it is. I think it's the same planet. So I'm Robin Goodall. Born to a single mother. What blueprints do we have? We have air pumps. We have uh, protection suits. Have a scanner. You have to build a scanner. That's the, the core element for progressing the game. Fabricator, habitat builder, solar panel, mobile vehicle bay. And a sea glide, all stuff from the original game. And there's a voice log, let's hear it. We are different, but we go. Okay, it's the original it's that we original. We are one. different, but we go. So together. this is this. Uh, okay. So we have a bulkhead, we have some pretty pictures. I'm assuming for the storyline, then we are established in a base of some description. Yeah, you can see the graphics, the um, the textures are not as polished as final version of Subnautica. There you go. Let's have a look around here. What have we got? Oh, coffee. So I've noticed that there's nothing on the screen, as in the first game, that shows me my uh, stats. So at the bottom left, we would have some statistics um, for oxygen, food, and water. We're on land. There's a prawn suit. I like this. Interesting. We're on we we are on land here. Holy moly, 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 moly. Now these things look like they're frozen, so it looks like Station they can't. Zero, this is Vesper. Come in. Hi Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks, we've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. Find Charge complete. Later. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so... Mm, that's the... Uh, 
uh, modification station from the first game. Certainly the same textures. We have an aquarium. You could eat these peepers in the first game. It looks like nothing in here is some, is anything. You can't activate any of this. There's no there's no um, food or oxygen, so there's no survival elements to this yet. I'm assuming that the storyline will have to. These are the Chinese lantern uh, plants from the first game, which would give you food and a little bit of water. There, that's the Chinese lantern. That's the, uh, sorry, that's the lantern. That's the Chinese potato, I think. So it looks like we have a bit of exploring to do. Should I risk going in the water? That's ice. Let's go for a walk. that look at you. How bizarre. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. This is sprinting as well. This seems very slow. Oh, you look at me. Look at me. Okie dokie. There's a lot of running. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of running. At some point, disaster's going to strike. I'm pretty sure of that. Ah. There's a portal. I think they were portals from the previous game. Yeah, it's a coffee machine. It's not working. Uh oh. How do you know my name? I come in peace. Sam, the building just powered up. It spoke to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffries. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Here we go. Woo, I think baby. it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Sam? Damn it! Now you know I'm not getting back anywhere. I'm going for a wonder. Doop -a doop -a doo. Yeah, not wandering very far. Okay, let's run back. We're obviously going to have to initiate the story, the disaster. I love these games so much. When's it going to end? There we go. There we go. I don't mind the element of predictability. Right, can't get through there. Can I get up here? I can. So I'm gonna be getting a little bit chilly. And I'm gonna be walking on ice. Nice environmental audio, walking on ice. I get back up there, am I? No way, Jose. Okay, invisible wall. I'll let you off. Because I love your games. Oh, that's the base. Come on, where's the next... Where's the next uh, disaster? Here we go. There it is! Avalanche! <laughs> There's a convenient in place ladder. Can I jump down here? No, I'm dying. Oh dear. There we go. So the ladder's gone. And it would appear that... I have to swim through here. Your Anything? environment is no longer safe, and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, remaining above ground will result in lethal exposure. If you are reading this, then you have survived the emergency evacuation of a station equipped with Altera technology. Ah, uh, there's my survival stuff. The PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. The operating system will 
help you continue to survive by monitoring your temperature and vital signs and issuing advice. Retreat to a safe environment, administer first aid if required, it's not. This red here is the first aid, that's food, that's water. Um, broadcast distress signal, retrieve emergency supplies if available, survey the environment for threats. Oh, 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 hang on, I'm going to drown. Can I just get up here while I read the rest of this? No, I can't. Okay, right. So, emergency supplies. There's nothing accessible here, so... Is this where I drown for the first time? I'm seeing no resources to gather. Does this give oxygen, maybe? Yeah, it does. Excellent. Different to the uh, the little mounds that gave you oxygen in the first game. But uh, now we know. Let's have a peeky, peeky, peeky. Uh, resources. Might as well start gathering while they're here. It's nice. It's got a very... Very, it's a very similar feel to the first game. Really excited for this. I had so much fun exploring in the uh, in the first game. And these things are bladderfish. New and creature you, discovered. You can use those to uh, feed yourself, but more importantly, they provide water. I need 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 to start to think about. Um, Come on, come on, come on, come on, get some food. New right. creature discovered. So where can I go? Oh. Where can I go? I need to start thinking about. Robin, come in. I copy. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine, I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Cool. Thank you, Sam. Call me when you get there. So I'm hoping I can now... I can... This has a modification station in it. Um, can I eat these things? Can't even get up there. There we go. He's cute. Ah! They bite. Okay, they're quite nasty. I'm hoping that these fish that I've grabbed... Let's grab Peeper. Come here, Mr. Peeper. I want to cook you and eat you. New creature discovered. Arctic Peeper. Okay. So we start off with the basics. Food. And water. If I can get in. And then we look to improve my um blueprint acquired. Fiber mesh. So, okay, so let's cook this first. Cooked food, I want to cook the boomerang. And I want to cook the Arctic peeper. I want to make water with bladderfish. The basics of survival in Subnautica. And now I'm going to eat them. And drink that. There we go. So we're all good for the time being. So what have we got in storage? Absolutely naff all. I can't I can change the key bindings for that. Let's have a look at the data bank Arctic Survival Guide. Employees working on the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions for their safety. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Ooh, okay, so we need to think about warmth as well. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch. A toasty hot beverage always feels good when working in sub-zero conditions. So I'm assuming that means that there are hot drinks that we can craft in this game. I'll have a look at the new uh, blueprints in a minute. Always dress appropriately for the mission. Investing in an Altera cold suit is certain to pay dividends where your survival is concerned. When in doubt, don't go out. This is my profile. 
Strong reward-based motivation, well integrated with Altera corporate structure. Summary, extroverted, sensitive, thoughtful and judgmental. Do you know what? That actually does sound like me. Any of my friends watching will realise this. So, um, where do we start? Food and water, and we need an O2 tank, which is titanium and fibre mesh. So, I need some creep vine. And I think to get creep vine, I need a survival knife. And silicone rubber, if it's anything like the first game, uses the creep vine seed clusters. So, I need to go exploring. I need. Uh, oh, it's dark. Crapola. Let's see if I can find any creep vine anywhere. Grab another bladder fish, make some water. Ooh, 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 le creep vine. Ooh, le creep vine. I don't want to go too far. Oxen seems to be lasting a little bit longer than the first game. Creep vine, creep vine. I may well just fast forward this in the edit. <laughs> Here we go. Oxygen. We have creep vine seed cluster. I need to swim to the surface. And I'm underneath a block of ice. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna die. 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 Oh! That was a close one. Okay. Let's grab as much of these seed clusters as we can. And then get the hell out of Dodge. These things take up, used to take up in the first game, quite a large amount of space in your inventory. So, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Can I grab more? Uh, let's go. How many have I got here? I like the extra dimension of the ice caps, that's good. I'm going to fill this with seed clusters if I can. Oh, the moon's a bit low. I think we're on the same planet. I think this is the planet we had in the first game. Any more seed clusters? Not that I can see. Well, let's make do with what we've got now. So back to the pod, I think. Um, just, I could really do with some more of those seed clusters, but it seems like we are in limited supply. So I'm going to have to be really acute with my time and resources investment, I think. So, we need to make some of these silicone rubber. I need to find titanium now, because the starting point is for this knife. So I need some titanium. So I'm going to put the rest of these in storage for now. I might just make some... Make one of these lubricants. And I'll probably leave it for now and see what else we need. I'm going to cook. Now I'm going to make some more water. And what have we got here? Fins. I can make some fins. Okay, that'll help me swim faster. So let's do that. Uh, Fins, fins, fins. There we go. Oh, 
equip those, and I'm just going to need to make two more of these to replenish. Now I need to make fibre mesh as well. I need the knife to grab that. So, uh, here we go. Make another one of them. Now, fins are on. I have some water. I will put these resources back in here. And I'm going to go and... I need to get some more food quickly. And I'm going to find some titanium. Generally little rocks scattered around that uh, I need a scanner for. Let's focus here. Titanium. Which is good. Uh, can I eat you? New creature discovered. <clears throat> do 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 resource gathering is an essential part of this game, but it's not the most exciting, I'll be honest. Oxygen. I hear you. Thank you. Oxygen replenishes a little bit faster than it did in the original. And, uh, these these are probably do a lot of this early on in the game. Bish bash bosh. These are all elements that I need. So these mushrooms now. Going in the caves is always dodgy. Okay, have I got two titanium? I have, so I can make my knife now, I think. Making the knife! Can I make the knife? I'm gonna cook that. Aye aye. Aye aye. And why can't I make the knife? What do I need for the knife? Silicone rubber. Of course! So now I've got the knife. I will equip that and go and get some creep vine samples to make the fibre mesh. I need to eat that. Okay, creep vine was this direction, I think. What are you? Can I eat you? No, I can't. Okay. There's my knife. New blueprint acquired. Okay, and I'll just grab that salt while I'm here. And I'll grab that salt while I'm here. And I'll grab that crystal. Crystal makes glass. And I'm risking it now. Oxygen. With the oxygen. So now I should be able to craft my um, oxygen tank. I think. Give me my oxygen tank. Or is it my. It's my first aid. I need the titanium for that. Thank you, please. Now we're talking. Boom! So we've we've got some food, we've got a base, we've got some resources that we can start to um, farm. I'm just going to use those to make lots of this fibre mesh. I don't think you use them for anything else, and they take up a lot of space, so let's just craft while we can. Uh, so what else have we got? Computer chip, battery. Battery uses ribbon plant and copper ore. Okay, slightly different to the first game, which used acid mushrooms. Table coral sample guy, that's the same. That's the same two silver ore. We have tools. So I now need to think about making a scanner. So, the first port of call is making a battery, so I need to find the ribbon plant. I have some copper ore, so ribbon plant. Where are you? You 
damage this ribbon plant. Just pick it up. Okay. That's excellent. Bataraziz. Use the battery. Can I now make the scanner? No. I need the titanium. Is there some titanium left in here? No, I haven't. Right, off to find some titanium. Once I scan, I can scan that. Start to get the blueprints unlocked. Oxygen's now lasting a little bit longer. Oxygen's lasting a lot longer, this is good. And we have the titanium. Gather everything while you can is my motto. And then you run out of room and you have to start crafting storage. Love these games. Love these games so much. All this stuff we can start scanning when we've got the scanner. And sometimes when you scan these undersea plants, it unlocks um, blueprints for you. Scanner! Now we are cooking on gas. What else can I make here? Uh, I never used these in the first game. Never, never, never. What can I make here? Make some glass. Leave that for now. I want to keep the quartz. A beacon. Um, not yet, I guess. I think what I need to do now, uh, and in the next episode, I will start to uh, do some storage. I will start to... Sorry, not do some storage. I'll start to do some scanning, and then obviously think about making some more storage and expanding the base. I'm going to leave it there for now. It's not a bad little introduction. I'm really excited about... Um, where this game's going to go. I know it's an early access and there's not a huge amount of gameplay, but let's stick with it all the way through to full release because it's such a good game. I also have on the 19th of March Satisfactory. For those of you who don't know what Satisfactory is, it's a crafting game. You land on a planet. I guess a little a little bit similar to Subnautica that you land on a planet. You, um, you are tasked with building a factory. You do not know why. And uh, I didn't get into the alpha, unfortunately. I'm hoping that I can get on to making some content very quickly on Tuesday. But I am actually at the photography show in the day, so it will be Tuesday evening GMT. So please, if, if you like my videos or my voice, or just fancy chewing the fat with me in the course of the next few months, then please subscribe. Click the bell icon so you know when I'm posting. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.